So welcome to one of the last weekends before the new national champs. So as you can see, this is Belmont Hill, uh, which Simon Richardson did his massive KOM attempt on, uh, on the nice bike. Anyway, this is where the story slightly is not great because this person overtakes me and then slows me up a little bit, but not really. Anyway, Belmont Hill, 1.33 kilometer climb at 8% average. Um, so you're going to be going 25k an hour for a lot of it, um, because obviously the start is a little slow. So anyway, this is like my uni champs, uh, not uni champs, but my uni is like, cycling one cycling hill climbs so i want to do well and anyway this climb suits me quite a lot it's uh okay it's not mega steep it's only seven percent but it is a little longer so anyway my pacing strategy for today was to try and hold about 450 to 480 watts um and i weighed myself in the morning and i weighed 60 kilos so i was pretty happy anyway straight away as you can see this car is now stopped on the road i'm doing 600 watts the car slows me down a little bit but to be honest not actually that much and it was probably quite wise that the car did i'm sorry about this head aching in headache inducing um footage from the GoPro um, is because the GoPro I don't have a very good mount at this moment because I lost the screw so it falls down a lot and anyway, the beginning bit of this climb as you can see it sort of ramps up a little bit gets up to nine percent and then it smooths off this is not really eight percent it's a little bit less than that it's almost flat if anything um, and then it goes downhill around here which is a little bit sketchy because it was raining and I think I, I spoke to a couple of people and they also said like they didn't want to risk it 100% because they thought they might stack it um, but anyway you can see the watts have come off quite significantly we're going 29 k's an hour um, and it was more a case, I guess, just like, you don't want to stack it. I mean, realistically, I should be doing a bit more watts down here. But anyway, it's fine. I know as soon as I got out the saddle, I'd smash it up again. Um, that speed up to 38 k's an hour, I don't think is correct. But anyway, this part here is quite fast because you carry a lot of speed in. And you can really start to ramp the power up. After that little bit, it doesn't become a very technical climb, to be honest. There's this long straight bit, with, with and we had a huge tailwind. Um, a huge, huge tailwind on this part. The course record got blown apart. Like, I think the course record was like 255 or something, and um, or 256, and the person who won it did 245. So into the numbers, 450 watts for me at 60 kilos is um, 7.5 watts per kilo, um, which is basically a power PB for me. I'm pretty happy with it. It might not sound like incredible, um, considering the guy who won it did 8.5 watts per kilo and weighs about 65 kilos. Um, so obviously he's doing more absolute watts. And on this climb, absolute watts are important because you are going relatively fast. On this part here, I'm not... I'm going mega fast, but still the average for me, um, including the bit at the beginning where you obviously stopped, was like 24k an hour, and I think the guy won it was like 28k an hour. Um, but anyway, I was really happy. I just emptied myself properly. I paced it well, flat pace. Um, and if you're going to ride this climb, this is the photographer. He got some nice pics. Check me out on Instagram if you want to see some great tongues, tongues out. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it was important for me just to pace this well, make sure I had a little left at the end because there's a little kick. But actually, it was such a fast day. Um, it really was just, it just didn't feel like anything. So you can see here, the road is pretty bad in terms of um, lead cover, but it was just stay on the left-hand side of the road and really give absolutely everything. This is a slightly flatter section um, you get into just before the final kick up to the line. Um, and this slightly flatter section does go on for a little longer than you think, but as soon as you get around the corner, you hear the crowd, you hear everyone screaming for you, and it's really, really easy to push. It's just that long straight where I was really suffering, um, but overall, it hurt a lot but it wasn't really that bad. I paced it well and I was happy with the sort of power I was doing. Um, could I have eat out a little bit more? Probably if I pedaled more in the downhill. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to crash because, I mean, this is important, but it's not like be all end all. Um, ultimately, uni champs are more where I want to do very well. So you can see, I did maybe leave a little bit too much in left here now because I'm doing like 480, 490 here. Um, or you could say I paced well and up the steepest part I was doing well. Uh, so anyway, cheers for watching this part. Um, I'm now going to have the Bath CC hill climb, which I slightly messed up the footage of because I the GoPro the Garmin recording of because I left it on indoor mode, which was a huge error. All right, this weekend was a double header Bath CC hill climb on Sunday. Uh, this is quite a horrible day to be honest. Did not enjoy um, this climb is about two and a half minutes long. I can't remember the exact meters. It's about 11% at the beginning bit and then slackens off, maybe a little steeper. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on my Wahoo's GPS, which is why you only have power. Um, 
But anyway, it was basically like two and a half to three minute climb. I think the person who won it did in two minutes 15, and I think I did it in 2.44, so pretty dreadful, to be honest, from me. Um, I did less watts today, for like two and a bit minutes, than I did yesterday for well over three minutes. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't really up for it, to be honest. But I mean, I, I did it, but it was, yeah, not great. You can see I sell pretty hard. I paced it all right, but I didn't know where the finish was because we only just drove up it and the, um, the finish line wasn't really there. But anyway, here, I mean, it's just a bit dreadful. Like, what are you doing at 420 watts? Like, mate, just hold 500 for the first minute and then just, just, just hold on. But instead, I'm just being an idiot, going like 430, and it's just a bit useless, to be honest. There's brain spots all over this camera. I mean, it's just not really a great hill climb at all. I was freezing and so cold, and just like, no one was even, I mean, there were a couple people out. I was surprised how many people were out cheering, considering it was absolutely dreadful weather. This is a bit better, mate, 440, but even so, just... Just never really got into it. I had a decent warm up on the turbo, but you know, you know when it's just one of those times when you just can't really be bothered. That's basically what it felt like. Um, and it sounds pretty soft because it's literally like you're riding your bike up a hill, just just hard enough and just do it. But at the same time, like you, you, for the hill climbs, you really need to have that like sort of mindset of just like I'm gonna absolutely rip it up this climb. And if you don't have it, then obviously your results aren't gonna be great. I think I mean it's still decent. What it was like four. 45 I think or something like that for like 2 minutes 40 and I think I weigh like 60 something kilos, 60 kilos, 61 kilos maybe on the day yeah, and it's like 7 point, and a little less than 7.4 watts per gear, 7.3 watts per gear maybe for like that long I mean it's not bad but it's not it's not incredible I mean the guys who do, will win this will be doing closer to 9 maybe 8.5 um, watts per kilo for that sort of duration and um, yeah it tells, um, so we're coming towards the end of this climb basically, that was the steep part, flattens off quite significantly at this point, we've got some spectators on the left which I was very surprised about. I then realised like I'm actually near the end, I haven't paced this well at all um, in terms of like I haven't really gone hard enough and now you can see I'm suddenly sprinting up quite a lot, what's drop here a little bit is like get, get in the saddle and I out the saddle and just try and rip it up as much as possible. Um, I still actually had quite a lot left and because it's so flat this thing like you're never going to gain that much time. I should have done what I said I was going to do and just go off at 600 watts for the first minute and then just try and hold on or something. I don't know, I just needed to do something random to really hurt myself, but instead I just sort of do this, finish it across the line about an hour, and that's, um, that's pretty much it.